Hey Motor One, this is Brandon Turkus, and I have just gone for a ride in the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400 with Von Gittin, and it was terrifying. <laughs> So this is the new Mustang Mach-E and this is also the new Mustang Mach-E. This is the Mach-E 1400. It has seven electric motors. It has many, many wings to beat the air, air into submission <laughs> and just look at the craziness of this car. Let's start out back where we have probably the biggest diffuser I have ever laid eyes on. Just so you don't forget what it is. It has a giant Mach-E badge on the back there. Still a Mustang. Still got the tri bar tail lights. Still got the pony badge. You just have many, many electric motors too. And you have this giant, giant wing. I mean, look at how, <laughs> look at how far back this goes. It's almost comically large. It's, all carbon fiber naturally a lot of the car is carbon fiber and it's just the aerodynamics on this car are really the thing that that draw you in from the start there's just so many changes to the body designed to feed the electric motors with air and keep the batteries cool and all that fun stuff and it's just wild the changes they've made to the exterior of this car yeah, one of uh, you know one of my my favorite things about about this car is you know it's literally a electrified Swiss Army knife. Like it can do everything, right? He mentioned it: all-wheel drive, drifting, Gymkhana, road racing, uh, drifting, road course. It can do it all, and it's all right here. Like it takes us uh, about 30 to 40 minutes to change the front end to go from rear-wheel drive drift only to uh, to all-wheel drive, and um, it's you know. That's one of the things I love about this. Everything was built with modularity um, because this is a living, breathing vehicle for for Ford and, and, and for RTR to learn. And, you know, if, if a new you know, battery, battery chemistry comes out, we want to try it, we can develop a new battery and put it right in. If we want to swap out and try new motors, we can do that. Um, so everything is built with those kind of things and capabilities in mind uh, as a demonstrator. You know, we didn't have to build this to any rules, which made it uh, a lot of fun, but also with the brains in it, it uh, you know, it, it, it expanded the world and, and the opportunities. So we're now in the interior of the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400. Uh, you can see very quickly that everything in here is very mo motorsport mindset. Uh, you know, everything we're doing with this vehicle is meant to uh, not only you know create cool content, do cool things on the track, provide cool experiences, but most importantly, uh, create learnings that can go back to production. Um, so uh, very quickly, um, you know, a lot of people like to pop the hood on their internal combustion engine vehicles, but we wanted to show. Uh, when you first look in the vehicle very quickly that this was an electric vehicle if you had any question and you can see the uh, seven inverters and the DC to DC converter so there's three inverters here on the front four in the rear each one goes to its respective motor and effectively the 700 volt battery under the car um, goes directly to those inverters and then those inverters command the power out to the motors based on the accelerator and, and what our um, uh, management system is is commanding uh, this is a dc dc converter so this basically takes to 700 volts converts it to 12 volt and runs all the 12 volt power systems uh, the steering system the electronic brake booster uh, all of the uh, all of the data acquisition all, all of those things on 12 volt uh, you can see we've got four seats in here so uh, that's so we can put uh, smiles on on faces of uh, three passengers and, and one uh, lucky driver and then um, aside from that, uh, one of my favorite features is the handbrake, um, which, uh, which you can see is just right here, boop. Um, different, a little bit different actuate, act, uh, actuation than you're used to seeing. Normally we pull them down, but this pulls out just for packaging purposes. Um, 
uh, over here, which uh, you may not be able to see, but there's only two pedals. Uh, there's a, uh, a accelerator and a uh, brake pedal. Um, and that is because we don't need a clutch here. Um, yep, our emergency switch, just in case we've ever got to shut down. And then the EBB uh, on and off switch, which is the electronic brake booster, which we can talk about in a moment. But uh, roll cage, obviously, for safety. Um, you know, one thing that was a challenge uh, for this vehicle was, you know, we wanted this to be FIA spec. And, um, you know, there's not too many or any four door race cars that are <laughs> specified. So we had to work through that. And, uh, and figure that out with uh, with those groups, but it's all all ready to rock now and ready to drive on just about any track uh, any track in the world. So, have you you have any experience with electric vehicles? Uh, nothing this fast. Going hot, and we're off. Let's go. <laughs> That's something else. <laughs> it's insane, isn't it? The, 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 you, you expect the initial torque and then it just keeps coming. It, it, <laughs> right? It just takes your breath away. And you can, like, see it, like, and you saw this differential. So we can literally change those gears. Like, we're geared for this, but, like, if we geared it for 200, it would just pull. It just pulls and pulls and pulls it's, all day. It's relentless. It's So uh, was it what you're expecting? <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. It, it just it takes your breath away. It just it keeps pulling and pulling and pulling, and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just can't help but laugh about it, right? I mean, what else can you do? Yeah, it's it, uh, it literally turns the, the I, I I tell everyone it turns like the most seasoned vets into like little kids again. What was it like the first time you drove it? What was your reaction? Yeah, like it, it scared me. Uh, it was myself and and our technical director Ray. Um, and it was the first time we put it to full power and we looked at each other and he's like, are you ready? I'm like, let's go. And I floored it and it just took off like you just felt. And I immediately, after I felt it for a second, I hit the brakes cause I was wanting to make sure it was okay. You know, cause like instinct of, it, with internal combustion engines is like when it feels like that, like something's wrong, you know? And you know, when it gets like a lean condition, it'll feel amazing till it doesn't. So I got kind of defaulted to that. And then I had to stop and like get my breath and I was like, this is what this is, you know, like this is what we've created. And it was just that moment, like it was perspective shattering and life changing for me. And how much experience have you had with electric cars before this? Um, zero. Okay, so you really got your eyes open. Yeah, 
Yeah, we, uh, so uh, let me step back. I did a test in a vehicle. Um, I had been watching electric and I did one test in a vehicle uh, that had a, a drivetrain from a you know production vehicle in it. Uh, and it was exciting. Um, and it was basically my confirmation that I could use the technology to, for the types of things I like to do. Um, and then, but beyond that, you know, my, my team and I you know, at RTR, this was our first, uh, our first foray um, and, you know, collaborating with Ford Performance to make this thing come to life has just been a, like literally pinch me moment after pinch me moment. So what's your favorite thing to do in it? I obviously drive it, but I mean, do you prefer drifting? Is it the speed? Is it the handling? Because it, it handles unbelievably well. There's no body motion at all. It yeah. feels like a race car. Yeah, you, you don't feel it. It does move a bit, uh, but it, I mean, it, it is a race car. <laughs> um, but yeah, it uh, for me, every experience is enjoyable because it's also new mm -hmm. to me. Um, honestly, I love and enjoy the drifting, but the uh, all-wheel drive drifting with it is a lot of fun because it's very biased to the it's, it's biased to the rear because it has four motors in the rear and three in the front so on like a 50 50 split you can still hang it out and drift it more like a rear wheel drive car um the rear wheel drive drifting is, is a lot of fun but the um so but for me it's all wheel drive drifting and the just spirited and lap lap attacking we haven't done like a full legit lap attack but we've hit some course as well and the way the car moves to your point it's like nothing else like yeah. you know you've never seen a car like this you know weighs 5,000 pounds that handles like a you know open wheel Indy car like that's what it feels like it just turns in so well and it because the center of gravity is so low you know there's nothing up top like we're used to having to do when it comes into internal combustion and that's what I'm so excited about people feeling once they feel the Mustang Mach-E the production one because you know it has a Mustang badge on it for a reason, and it's because it offers a great experience. And that placement of the weight is going to offer, you know, and the power obviously is going to offer an epic experience to, to the driver. And now a Mustang that can have three passengers, I think it's super exciting. That's great. Thank you so much for taking me for a spin. It was unbelievable. You're very welcome. Absolutely man. unbelievable. You're very welcome. I love the smile on your face. <laughs>